Defibrillation is a treatment used in emergency conditions to correct life-threatening arrhythmias or abnormal heart rhythms. Through defibrillation, an electric shock is administered to the heart, normalizing the heartbeat and allowing it to function again. A special device known as a defibrillator is used for the defibrillation treatment. There are four main components in a defibrillator, including electrodes, a capacitor, a battery, and a processor. The electrodes, sometimes called paddles, read our heartbeats while the processor analyzes them. Additionally, the battery and capacitor work together to produce the electric shock. When and why is defibrillation treatment done? The heart is a muscular organ that delivers oxygenated blood to the body's cells. Within the heart, the sinoatrial nodes generate natural electric impulses, keeping the heartbeat normal. If, due to some malfunction, the electric impulse does not reach the heart from the sinoatrial nodes, the heartbeat becomes abnormal, and defibrillation is used to correct it. Defibrillation treatment is commonly performed for two lethal ventricular arrhythmias. Number 1. Ventricle fibrillation and Number 2. Pulseless ventricular tachycardia In ventricle fibrillation, the electric impulse can't reach the heart ventricles, and the heartbeat becomes abnormal disturbing the supply of blood and oxygen to the body organs and leading to sudden cardiac arrest. In such cases, defibrillators provide an electric shock to the heart so that the heartbeat can return to normal. If this condition is not treated within 5 to 10 minutes, it can lead to death. Similarly, in pulseless ventricular tachycardia, the heartbeat and contractions of the heart ventricles become so fast that the blood pumping isn't sufficient, resulting in a severe reduction in blood and oxygen flow to the body organs. Defibrillators are also used to normalize the heartbeat in such conditions. Several causes can lead to ventricle fibrillation and pulseless ventricular tachycardia, including significant factors such as lack of electrolytes like potassium in the blood, Drugs and chemicals that can make heart rhythms in the ventricles abnormal, such as erythromycin, methadone, and benzene. Certain heart diseases like congenital heart defects, heart attacks, and cardiomyopathy. How is defibrillation performed? In the presence of a defibrillator, promptly connect the electrodes to the battery and place the electrode pads on the patient's chest so that one is on the upper right chest area and the other on the lower left ribcage. As soon as the machine's button is switched on, the electrodes read the heartbeats and send them to the processor in the battery, which analyzes them and alerts you through a prompt if an electric shock is needed. By pressing the machine's button, an electric shock is administered to the heart, restarting the heartbeat. This process continues until the heartbeat returns to normal. Thanks for watching.